Hey, hey, we're here. I'm so happy to be with both of you. Zoe Tucker, fabulous art agent and author, and Riley Wilkinson, fabulous toy inventor, creator, and agent. Hello. So happy to be with you. How are you both? We're really well. I'm well. I'm well. I'm answering for you, Riley. I'm good. Oh, I am you? now just hearing you. Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. Good to see you both. I'm good. Yeah, it's yeah. so good to How are you, Linda? I'm good. I'm back from filming in Berkeley and then uh, a wedding in Asheville, North Carolina, where I saw Greg and everybody type in in the chat. Is the chat working? Type in where you are. Make sure you're selected to everyone. Oh, it says the chat uh, is disabled. Oh, no. Okay. So um, Kim is going to fix that. <laughs> oh, it should Let's be okay. There there is. Is. <laughs> Lilo, what were you filming in, I want to say Berkeley, but it's Berkeley, right? Ber in Berkeley, which I love. <laughs> if I had to move to one place, that's what where it would be. And I saw my artist Mara Penny, which was so fun. Oh. Um, Who is it on the West Coast? It was Creative Bug. I filmed with Creative Bug. It's different than a maths course. It's more like a little taster. It, it, it'll come out in um, September. It's basically writing for artists. It's treasure hunt your writing style. So you'll hear more about that later. But what I'm here to talk about today is is career is um, character, character play. play. Character, character play. <laughs> I got in at twelve thirty last night. My plane was delayed, and I'm already not all there. So you know, we'll do what we can with me. Welcome to new people who have not been to one of our zooms before. We're so happy to see you. You're going to learn a bunch of things today, but in addition to learning, we are doing a giveaway of the course. You're going to learn a ton from Zoe, uh, who commissions illustration for picture books for a living. That's what she's done for many years. And Riley invents toys and works with artists to create toys and just has a new one license, which we'll talk about in a minute. But first, look at this one. We just got this in. We agented this at Little Rogers Studio. This is uh, by Tara Lilly, a fabulous toy that you assemble. So toys are alive and well. Of course, picture books are as well. Absolutely. Yeah, really, really very alive. Very busy at the moment, Lilla. It's great. Yes, yes. Uh, people are always buying things for their children. Always. It's always a great market. So yeah. a couple of bits. Put any questions. We have a lot of people here today. So <laughs> Put any questions in the Q and A. Hey, Greg. Hey, Aww, Greg. So sweet. You. Yeah, I'm completely. This what you see is what you get. This is the lil throughout. Um, mm -hmm. I'm so glad so many of you are here today. It's so wonderful to be together. Character play is such a fantastic course because it's hyper powered. You're getting two industry professionals giving you the assignments that I've 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 you know worked with them a, a little to make sure they're as fabulous as they can be um, and on two very hot markets that use characters characters are anything with a face we're going to look at that so Zoe and Riley what did you love about creating the course oh, yeah, well call, Kim. you go ahead Zoe well, I was just going to say, I think until Lilla suggested making this course, I don't think I really fully appreciated like the crossover between my industry and Riley's industry. And I can tell everyone that basically the course, so I'm in Brighton on the south coast of England. Riley, you're Arizona. Yeah. Is that right? We're almost Mexico, so Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> So we've done all of this together online and every time we join uh, on a Zoom call, we do the whole thing on Zoom. We've discussed everything. We've planned everything. Honestly, we've had so much fun, Lilla, just um, brainstorming ideas. We laugh a lot um, and have a lot of fun. And there's just this really fun crossover with 
the way my brain works and the way Riley's brain works. And mm -hmm. I'll sort of come up with a character and then Riley, quick as anything, just adds the cherry on the top, either to the story or to the game concept. And it's just been the funnest collaboration. It's the is funnest a good word? Everybody, mm -hmm. I'm an author, funnest. You can have that. Yeah. It is now. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> and these are two fantastic markets for you, for illustrators, for people who draw, because they employ lots of drawing. And the course, I just want to say a moment about AI and this course. And while, while you can get a lot by Googling or by asking AI, uh, you're not going to get the written content along with the visual content that we've put together for you to make a plus my my trend boards and my worksheets along with Zoe and Riley's gathering inspiring images that that point out or il illustrate the concepts they're trying to teach you you cannot get this that way this is not you know, give me 10, 10 ways to, to, to illustrate a picture book. Yeah, that's going to give you sort of generic information. This dives deep. That's what I want to say. I think, Riley, Riley I don't know wait, if you want to speak to that as well. But for me, it definitely is about um, being, obviously, with my job, I'm going into several different publishing companies in London. I'm working closely with different publishers. And we're there aren't strictly trends within the industry, but we are obviously looking for particular types of things. And I think you will get that more nuanced level of information mm -hmm. through a person more than a an AI, a robot. Well, you're an expert. How many years have you been doing this and how many books have you commissioned illustration for? How many pictures? I think it's 26 years. I've been in children's publishing. I've been a commissioning art director and designer for probably the last 18. Mm hmm and I've done this 27 years, hundreds of products. I was also going to say about AI, we have opinions. Product developers have opinions. Mm -hmm. Publishing companies have opinions. You know, mm -hmm. if I ask AI, how do I look today? <laughs> I don't know what it's going to say. If I ask AI, is, is this cat going to look great on a memory match game? Well, I, I, I don't think it's going to have an opinion, but we have opinions. There are people at these companies and publishing mm -hmm. companies, there are parents, there are children who have opinions that lead them to pick up your book or product or card, et cetera. I love there. that, Riley. That there's was my, there's my AI. I love <laughs> it. AI. I remember when I was doing my degree my um, in the third year, my tutor took me to one side and really like enforce that in me. It's like, you have to have an opinion about what you like and what you don't like. And not to say there's right or wrong, but it's your personality and your input is your opinion that you put into the project. And it stuck with me. It's a great comment. And illustrators, as you create, the more you are uniquely you, the more you stand apart and you will get more work by being less generic, I promise mm -hmm. you. It's the story of my career. You're right, Lilla, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know this. It's our inventiveness, our humanity that stands out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we do have well, a good day today. Good. Uh, the poll, were you able to get the poll up, Kim? I don't think I saw the poll. Um, I will do. Okay. The... Um, the we're giving away a course so that's pretty exciting i have a huge powerpoint for you so buckle up get out your your notebooks because you're going to get lots of information and about uh oh you need my top lydia yeah this is a dress it is um and the poll is up people fill out the poll this is farm rio I, I wore it just for you i practically bought it just I'm like this will be good on zooms <laughs> that's There's a lovely comment in the chat that's called by from christina as a working illustrator there is so much communication throughout each project that goes on to get to a special result you can't get that with ai that is just spot on you're absolutely right and the facebook group people mm. who have taken my classes before tell about the Facebook groups and the support and the knowledge base that you get. You can say, what Procreate brush should I use? Should I get a, 
an iPad? Can I work traditionally? And and how does, you know, can I, do I need a scanner? What kind of scanner? All those kinds of questions mm -hmm. or like, what do you think of this piece? Should I add the pink background? Pink background. Uh, it's a resource for you. Yep. The, Lynn says, hey, Lynn, good to see you, by the way. So many nice faces. Lynn says best is the best ever. We've always, from the very beginning, this is our 10 year anniversary is coming up for Matt's. 10 years ago, I insisted that our courses, my teaching style and the community would be very positive and supportive as Greg says, community support, inspiration, worldwide friends, absolutely. There are people from 104 countries, so you're sure to meet somebody who lives fairly near you and you can make little groups. It's like summer camp, says Simone. Mm. Okay. So in the poll, and by the way, Zoe and Riley, if you see any comments, want to pull out, just let me know. We have 74% uh, of you have taken a Matt's course before. It's, that's wonderful to see you. And we have 27% of new people. Welcome, new people. You're in the right place. This is a place where you will get the support and the education you need to be a successful illustrator. Have you taken career play previously? It's only 28% uh, of you have. So you definitely want to sign up for this. It's a great price point. It is three months long and we'll tell you everything that you get in there. Are you signed up for character play? 68% of you here are, so that's great. And 31% are thinking about it. Uh, and I think after the PowerPoint, you'll probably be pretty excited. What's your background? Okay, let's see. 50% um, of you, I think that's the biggest number, are working illustrators, artists, but want to level up your career. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing. People, I've had a creative career for over 40 years. And the way to do it is keep learning. Keep learning, growing, pushing. and I always say this, I hope you take my courses because I believe in them. Look at my amazing co-teachers. Do you take other people's classes, do whatever, but just keep learning. And mine have assignments and deadlines and a gallery. Assignments are the creative person's best friend. Mm -hmm. Deadlines are your best friend. Okay. Let me see Alice Morolo says she's excited and scared, and I just need to speak to that. There's sure. nothing to be scared about because what's so great about boot camp is it's like a little bite size view of illustrating children's books and creating games. It's really manageable. It takes, I mean, how many hours would you put aside, Lilla, for a boot camp compared to our bigger courses? Well, let's ask the chat because you have some people who only have an hour. Oh, yeah. Some people who put in like 20 hours and yeah. it's all good. I don't care if you're the hour person or the 20, whatever you do is a step forward. And you might have Absolutely. one or two more or less. And the other thing that's really great about the, if you, if the face group, Facebook group, what I find really positive about that is within the Facebook group, you will have students that are professional that are professional illustrators and they're doing this to stretch their portfolio just to get some new work in there but you also have people who are right at the beginning of their mm -hmm. journey and what's so fun for us to see is that the experienced illustrators raise up the newbies and help and support and you grow so much quicker within that forum or well, that's what it looks like from us obviously type into the chat what you find about the Facebook group if you are a seasoned maps person Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, okay, let's see. Background. 34% are interested in switching from my non-art job to an art career. You are in the right place. 18% interested in switching from my art job to self-employed art career. You are in the right place. Uh, love to take art courses for personal enrichment. 33%. I'm a crafter looking to get into illustration. 7%. I'm an art student and want to go pro, 4%. Welcome art students. I just like taking Lilith's courses, 23%. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And 5% are others. That's beautiful. Um, why don't we pop up the, oh yeah, and type in, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
type in chat um, why the heck you are taking or want to take it. Thank you, Lala. She says, plus your teachers are amazing and so much knowledge. And But it's not just that. I have been an educator, and it's my first degree is art education. Uh, I'm a stickler for excellent educational, the didactic way in which the information is delivered to the creative person. And my co-teachers all are great teachers. They know how to deliver the information in a way that you are going to achieve your greatest success. We set you up for success. So. I'm so excited that it's summer camp. It's summer <laughs> oh. camp. Yeah, it is summer. We love a boot. This is a boot camp style course, which means it runs over three months and you get something every single Monday. What we love about it is that it is really manageable to fit in with any travel or trips or summer. So it does start today. Please do go to makeartthatsells.com and sign up. Oh, thank you all for such kind words, Heather. Heather Manning, good to see you. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about what you're gonna see. Um, Riley, do you wanna read this for me, please? Sure, today's Zoom. One, class starts today. Two, examples of toys and games. Three, what's in the course? Four, student work from last year's class. Five, your class schedule. Six, Zoe shows a few favorite books and what she looks for. Seven, Riley to show favorite toys and why they sell. Eight, a few Matt's prep artwork, de oh, desserts, part one and two. Nine, Q and A, and 10, Give away <laughs> a place in character boot camp. Yeah. Uh, by the way, apologies on the lack of parallel construction on the Zoe shows and Riley to show, but you know, uh, that's how these things go. So books agented by my agency. This is the kind of work this course is going to teach you to how to get they have characters in them, whether it's the squids on the bottom right or the rabbit up here on top or on the left, the, the men and women or any of these characters. So these are the kinds of things we know what we're talking about. These are toys agented by my agency. And again, you will get three months of art assignments for children's books, toys, and more. Okay, what's character? I asked Riley what a uh, way back. Remember, Riley I said, Riley, what's character? You said, basically, what's a character for a toy? Like you talk a lot about to toy characters. You said anything with a face. Yeah, I think we were at lunch and I held up a like a bun or like a French fry <laughs> or something. I said, <laughs> put eyes on, and I think I did it over and over. You know, I do yeah. things over and over. Put eyes on this, put eyes on that. Yeah, you right. put eyes on anything and it's a character. <laughs> I love that. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, we had fun filming. Okay, Zoe, want to read this for the people? Yes. Okay, this is how it works. Number one, well, you get something every Monday for three months, downloadables, videos, and live Zooms with us. Number one is the first Monday of the month, a children's book mini story to illustrate from art director and author Zoe Tucker. Whoop, whoop. That's me. Uh, number two, second Monday of every month, a toy assignment from toy inventor and agent at Lilla Riley Lilla Rogers Studio, Riley Wilkinson. He's disappeared. I feel like he's going to do a turn as he comes out of the cupboard. Oh, let me tell you, everyone, in that cupboard is all the amazing samples that Riley's cooked up. Number three, the third Monday of every month, a bonus surprise from your teachers. And number four, a live Zoom with Lilla, Zoe, and Riley. You can ask us anything, you get news from the business, and Lilla might even do a career tarot for a volunteer. So that's pretty fun. I still want a career tarot. I could do with that today, actually, Lilla. Oh my God, <laughs> you know I would love to. This is my oh. new passion, by the way. The Who's who's watched my career tarots or, or had one? Who's watched those? They're pretty amazing, mm -hmm. right? I love them. It's so wonderful. We really get to know an artist and 
yeah and uh and explore their work and so forth it's great um did i leave anything out i think i left out don't you do uh videos each oh yeah each of your well, things it says, it says at the top there are videos yes. so yeah. you get a video from me and from riley riley's done these brilliant voiceovers um he's read the text and he's done an audio and he somebody commented earlier that he should do audio books and I was playing it to my other half and I was like, oh, my God, he made my writing sound really nice. I was really, Riley, you need to do that as a, a business. Well, it's such good writing. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it's such um, good it's writing. Nice. I, do see really a nice. I see a lot of questions in the chat. Please put them in the Q&A. Mm. I'm going to devote a lot of time today to answering questions. And don't forget, there will be a giveaway. I didn't have much knowledge about how to build a portfolio of children's book work before taking the class. Now I feel like I know how and have the skills to create a really strong portfolio that would attract work. Caitlin Betsy Bell on Bootcamp Special Character Play Lab from a, a previous class. Student work from pre previous classes. I think this is always fun to see what kind of work happens in class. And these are some of the really gorgeous pieces, but again, every level, every style. Okay, so this is by Sue Gibbons. Uh, do you wanna talk about this, Rye or Zoe? Remember the story, Zoe? Talk Ooh, about yeah. the story, it was so open. Was That's why the, the work was so buried. It was a whole thing about time travel and going into it's like don't press the red button obviously she's sue's got the red button in here which i loved and it was they was it they were searching for dodos riley yeah they were in that time running machine. from dodos i yeah. should remember the time machine i know yeah no, it was a time machine i love them it's beautiful so good great characters okay yeah this is by Janine Rundle. Zoe, any thoughts? Yeah, so this one had almost like a nonfiction element to it. So there was a bit of counting involved. I think I get quite a lot of questions about the different areas in children's publishing from picture books to nonfiction to middle grade fiction. So this was a sort of light step into nonfiction with a counting book. And it was all based underwater. And I really love this piece. Who is it? It's by... Janine Rundle, mm -hmm. Janine, yeah, um, really beautiful. I think what's so great about this is Lex's body. Like she's really worked on trying to get Lex so he feels like he's underwater and he's swimming. And I love that contact between the shark and the character. That's mm -hmm. the sort of thing that makes a children's book illustration is that personality and the character contact. And you always have taught us about getting the relationship shows the relationship between two characters and you yeah. also like how these two are looking at each other you have hammered that into us so clearly and then if you look to the right there's a little crab or something you have taught about supplemental characters those little other people or things on the side that are fun to look at i've learned a lot from you zoe and i thought i knew a lot about these things but i still learn Okay. This is a great character sheet, isn't it? It's so strong. This would get work instantly. I and think. she does. And she got an agent since class. I, I feel like, so for the things that I'm looking for, I'm, I'll show more examples in a bit, but um, as an art director, the thing that you're looking for is a character that can be brought to life, drawn in lots of different poses with lots of different expressions and that they have a compelling personality. So by that, I mean the reader or the person looking at the illustration feels some sort of emotion. So mm. for me, Lilla, the piece that's absolute gold here is where she's cuddling the dodo on the far right in the middle, center mm. line. I just think that is so beautiful. Um, yeah, bags of personality, it's a beautiful piece. <laughs> bags of personality, I love that. Um, someone wrote, um, because Brooke, uh, Doriana writes, Brooke, she was my inspo to take Matt's classes. Her work is amazing. Yeah, she she grew and grew in Matt's classes and went on to representation and doing books. So the classes were 
Let's talk about the sketch. Like what exactly does it look like? And remember, everything is recorded. Everything is, don't worry if you're away. And it's all for you. But we do it, we, we, we parse it out in nice increments so you're never overwhelmed. So the first Monday of every month, Zoe's assignment is revealed. Do you want to tell what that is like, what you get? What do people download? For the assignment, well, you get a text that's written by me. It's read out by Riley, which is really fun. And then you'll have a video. And also, I'm pretty sure I wrote content too. So you've got um, oh, yeah, some you stuff in the classroom to read. Yeah, and um, with examples. So every every assignment that we give you, we focus on a slightly different angle. So that might be adding expression and emotion to your character. It might be um, a lesson on eyes. It might be something to do with um, the body and how the body works and what we look for when we're designing our characters and how to make them children's proportions. So you get a kind of little snippet and insight into what we look for in the industry. Mm -hmm. And each month, you do a different kind of book and we don't want to give it away because we love surprise element, but a different kind of picture book for maybe a different yeah. market or different, you know, can't, can't, can't read yeah. It. And I feel like don't say any more, but I feel like it's really varied this year. Mm -hmm. And I'm this so year. excited to see what everyone comes up with. It's going to be really fun and give you a taste of, of different subsections of children's illustration, which will be really interesting, I think. Yeah, you blew my mind with the different kinds of books you did this year. I was really oh. excited. It would be great. Thank you. So that's the first week. And Zoe has you, uh, she gives you a little bit of text. It's all downloadables. You can print them out if you want, make little people make notebooks with them and binders and so forth, but or just read it on screen. And look, at look, she not only writes a, a unique text, she is a published author of many picture books. She, you get a, this wonderful, rich piece of text that's very visually laden, very imaginative, and the kind of text you need to illustrate to get work. So she does that. That's the first Monday. And it's just a bit. It's not as intense as the big illustrating to picture books in October, the five week intenso then so it's a taste and you do something but some people do a lot then on monday riley will take what you've done and say here's how you can turn it into a toy and hear the here are examples you want to speak to that right yeah so after you have fallen in love with zoe's story I will give you your assignment, your toy assignment. There's a toy assignment for each month. I'm not telling you what they are. Sure. Um, and in the document that you can print out or view online, I show you example after example of toys in the market that I find successful, that I think are character, character driven, that I think will inspire you. And I tell you why. I tell you specifically why. I don't just say, oh, I love these. I tell you specifically why I love them and why I think that they will inspire you to create more work, to get yourself more work. And I had a lot of fun pulling it together. And Zoe and I collaborated deeply on what this would be. And it's the same in my video. I do the same thing. I walk through why this particular toy or this particular toy, right? I don't want to get specific. I'm <laughs> going to make a mistake here. <laughs> I know we're afraid to spill beans. Yeah. And not only why does it matter to a child, but why does it matter to the product manufacturing company? What are they looking for? And I give you my opinions and I, 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 Lila, I like what you said about printing them out, putting them in a binder. They're a mm -hmm. great reference and you can re-download like into the future because there's no time constraint. And each week you put your work. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Um, and I just want to say, so for example, let's say Zoe gives you, um, you're going, well, the first one is very easy. It's an object. Everybody can draw an object, not saying what, but let's say it's like a cup or a pencil or you know, vacuum cleaner, whatever. It's an object. You draw, you put eyes on it. Oh yeah, like an egg cup. Look at you. And then, so let's mm -hmm. say you drew an egg cup 
And then Riley's going to say, and, and, and not just an egg cup, like you're going to do a setting and so forth. But Riley's going to say, now take your egg cup and you're going to turn it into this kind of toy using these tricks and tips and, and features. Bup, bup, bup. So you're really evolving your work. Okay. Week three is creative assignments, tips and tricks. Week four is a deadline for submission to the gallery. It is not required. It's highly encouraged. It's a way for you to have that accountability to get your work in there and to shine and to show everyone, plus the Facebook group. You can show your work in that as well. But the more you give yourself that deadline to do it, again, you don't have to. Okay, you may feel at a point where you're not quite ready. That's totally fine. But we support every level. In fact, guess who I'm proudest of? The top students who are working professionals, who are already illustrators, I'm very proud of them. But I'm most proud of the bravery of the newbie who is not an expert drawer yet, but putting something in the Facebook group or the gallery. We respect that. We were all there at one time. And then the gallery goes live on these dates and September, it's the same format. So that's your three months. You're going to have fun through September 27th. Oh, did we say the... Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot the the live Zoom at the end of every month with the three of us ask questions. Maybe we give away a course. Maybe I pop up somebody for a, a Zoom. Maybe Riley and Zoe will talk about a favorite, uh, favorite new book or toy they're doing. Okay, meet your teacher. This is a book. Tell us about this, Zoe. This is a cool story. <laughs> well, first of all, I've got a lot more greys coming through now. <laughs> That's what I noticed here. Yeah. Um, this was my very first book. And you I wrote. wrote this text. I wrote this text for our illustrating children's book class. And one of our students, Rachel Kutstala, she did the most amazing work in class. She took her work to... I think she took it to the Bologna Book Fair, but she submitted it to a publisher. They loved her work, obviously, and then asked about the story and approached me. And it ended up being published, which was super exciting. So much more than I expected when I wrote it. And it's um, I'm very fond of it. It's got a real special place in my heart. It's really wonderful. Yeah, it's really wonderful. We have a course from Kashani. Hi, Kashani. Hello, awesome teachers. Will the gallery... Will the assignment submitted to the gallery be based on Zoe's prompt or Riley's or both? Thank you. You want to answer that one? I think it's both, isn't it, Riley? We have a sheet with the toy and the character. Yes, it is both. It's based on the yeah. story. Yeah. Is that what's being asked? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, you take your character and you apply that to the toy. So you kind of get two Please. pops at the cherry in a way. You're not going to upload two separate times to the gallery. You are just uploading at the end of the month. You can put a couple of images in. Louise has just said in the chat, but you can also just pop them onto the same uh, page. And I'm sure we've got more examples later I, we maybe have more examples, but if not, we can show you some as we go through. Um, where you could have like a page where you have your toy on your page, but then you also have just like a cutout of your character. That would look really nice too. Thank you, Louise. I'm so glad you're here. Do we have Becky and, and uh, Jenny here too? You may have- Jenny is here. Yay, Jenny's in the house, our fabulous writer. <laughs> and Becky's here, our fabulous organizer of all things mats. And Louise is your customer support. Any questions you have about, oh, I can't get into the classroom. Louise is there and everyone oh loves God. Louise. I don't think we could manage any of it without them, to be honest. No. no. Oh God, I'm useless. What, an art, what art director Zoe Tucker looks for in an artist's work when she's looking to assign an illustrated book to an artist, to an illustrator, to illustrate a whole picture book. Here's what she looks for. You want to talk to us oh. through these uh, Tisha pieces and what? Oh man, I absolutely. This is so Tisha Lee is now represented by Little Rogers Studio, um, but Tisha came up through our Matt's Illustrating Children's Book course. 
And it was one of those moments, Lilla, where I think the minute it landed, as she put mm-hmm. something in the gallery that first week, I remember just thinking, oh, oh my goodness, I have to commission this. It's so good. And um, so we, we sort of let the five weeks run through. And then at the end of the five weeks, I remember being asked to help commission a text for a publisher and I kind of knew the vibe they were looking for, but Tisha was just in the right place at the right time. And I was so lucky because I managed to get to work with her on this first book, which is called Love Grows Everywhere, I think. And then we've subsequently done a second book. And I'm also working with her on some sample work for a third project. Um, so that all came about from joining the maths class. And I think that, I mean, for me, Every time we run these classes, whether it's boot camp, illustrating children's books, Riley's course, I feel like every time we look in the gallery, we see work that we want to commission, work that we want to see out there on products. And it's the best bit for us. It's so rewarding for us to see what you will produce. Everything is different as well. Like you get the same piece of text to work from in boot camp, but every single artist delivers a different viewpoint of it, which is, it kind of blows my mind. So in this piece here, what I particularly love about Tisha's work, she's got a beautiful kind of mid-century style, incredible color palette. It's bright, it's cheerful but it's also not super primary like straight out of the paint tin I think all the characters on the page are working and by that I mean they're all like these tiny little snapshots into people's lives no one is standing static and doing nothing they're all doing something no none of the characters are looking out at the reader either so you feel like you're kind of looking into the scene Mm. it's a really beautifully considered piece I even love those two sets of legs on the top edge walking (laughs) off it gives it depth it's a great great piece of work oh thank you for thank you for illuminating why this is so strong It, it, it you're absolutely right no one looking out at us and we're looking in it's pretty wonderful so because of uh, her being in class she got representation with me my agency and uh, uh, the, the first of many picture books from zoe so uh, opportunity is there this is one of the main advantages of the maths courses is you are in, i i've t- taken on over 30 illustrators from maths classes for representation and we're about to announce another one so it's all pretty good don't forget please put your questions in the chat I mean sorry in the Q&A press down there Lana asks when are the zoom uh zooms there at noon ET eastern uh Boston time New York time and they are recorded everything is recorded for everyone's convenience and all easy to access in one spot on the website, the Make Art That Sells website. Again, classes start today. Please do sign up because you already get your first assignment today. Yay. Okay. We'll just look at these. This is a character sheet. And these are so beautiful. Let's look at this. Here's just another example of a picture book. Love that book. Love this book. This is by my Are artist. The course is online with us today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I scooped her up from class to represent her. And she's nonstop busy with picture books. You see these great mm-hmm. characters. Yes, she's here. Some more books and products agented by the studio. What does that mean, agented? It means we got the work for the artist. Oh, we made the deal, we got the, the gig, and the artist got the work. Okay, this is by Sarah Walsh. You see more characters. And I want to show you the variety of styles that you can do. I and, and don't think, oh, my style isn't represented here. Good. I want to see it. Bring it on. Bring it. Here's some more. Beautiful. Just to inspire you. Hey, look who's here. Sneaky, oh. snacky squirrel game invented by Riley. Two million units sold. It's probably more than that now. And over 10,000 five-star reviews. That's great, Riley. So let us, why don't you talk about, oh, here's some toys and games. Then we're going to show your picks. 
These are toys and games agented by the agency. Um, and you can see it's a lot of bright colors. You want to keep that in mind because they sell. That's I didn't invent that. That's how it goes in life. Okay, Riley, can't wait to hear what you have to say. Riley selected these just for today's review of today's PowerPoint. Go so ahead. What you're looking at, you see a pull toy on the left and you see figurines on the right. What do they have in common? They are animals or objects with eyes. That okay. artist on the right, I found, I think it's Eric. I think that's his name. I found those online and of course started going nuts over his style. He made those just out of wood and painted them. And now he has this huge following. I don't know if he's had anything picked up um, to be mass marketed or mass merchandise, no toy, but someone will. Look at that style. Look at those pigeons on the bottom. I picked those because they're simple. They're bright. I love the style. Absolutely love the style. And the one on the left, that Dejeco pool toy, look at that panda. It's wearing like a kerchief around its neck. Look at the wheels. The wheels are flowers. Look at that bird on top of the panda. And look at how simple that is. It's so simple, beautiful colors. And they even packaged it using that same palette, that same texture. So you see that on shelf, you're going to stop in your tracks and walk backwards uh, or roll backwards. It's, I love it. I love everything on this page. Beautiful. This um, articulated paper doll with a stick attached. I've seen, I think I found this on Etsy, but I've seen some in the marketplace illustrated by artists. Um, I like this sort of mishmash of arts and crafts that turn that is transformed into a toy. Those are parts that are illustrated and the child gets to assemble it. I love products like that, where the child gets to almost make the toy. But look at this, very stylized, bare. Look at the tights, the tights with the sort of triangles. So if you love drawing patterns, textiles, in the assignment, you can put outfits on all of your characters. Look at the flower growing out of that bear's head. Does that make any sense? No, but that's why it's a toy. It's like, why is that flower growing out of the head? But I'm noticing it, now you're noticing it. It's so super cute, look at that. Lydia writes, I'd imagine it's affordable for companies to manufacture too. Totally. And Riley, so why, why is this a good toy? Because it's fun to maneuver the, and move around all the little parts? Uh, you you can have a little you can have a little play with it you can act out what's going on with the with the characters Lydia's right very inexpensive to produce because it's cardboard cardboard a stick and those little metal brads but a child gets to pretend and play that they're in this little bear's world and if they have all three they've got a family that's what I love about this mm -hmm. because it's it's very simple and the child is making it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, next. This is another example of a toy that a child makes. I'd never seen anything like this before, which is why I pulled it. This is this like sort of, it's almost like one of those holiday shaky snowy things, except this goes on the child's bookshelf or desk. It lights up. And again, the child gets to assemble it. I. I just, the, the most expensive piece to manufacture here would be that dome, but they have a, a whole line of these and all the characters are just printed on cardboard. And again, the satisfaction that a child gets by building this, they're never gonna throw this away. It's gonna be on someone's bookshelf forever. I wish mm. it were on my bookshelf. I love that. So pretty. Beautiful. Okay. Manhattan Toy, they've really changed their illustration style. This is a line of kitchen appliances. There's a, I think the turtle is like a toaster, like a waffle maker. There's a frog that I think is a toaster. What is, Riley, what is this? This is a wooden espresso machine. So <laughs> that owl was illustrated. Obviously you see the text, you see, see the style mm -hmm. and you turn that knob on the right and it pours coffee into the into a cup. You see those pods, those oh, little discs? The they're they're supposed to be like little, and they're up in the um, owl's head too. Mm -hmm. They're like coffee pods in a machine. So mm -hmm. this could have just been painted bright blue, which is fine, but Manhattan Toy 
hired an artist to illustrate that owl and it brings it to life. That's why I chose this one. Yeah. All care. Um, but Ms. Press are missing a trick, not having <laughs> that's good, Susan. Um, and and you know, you don't know what work you're going to get from the art you do. You may get uh your toy being licensed, but you may get work to illustrate some product they have like this. That happens a lot in our agency. You might show a toy that you've done to a picture book company and they commission you to illustrate a whole picture book. Mm -hmm. So it's all, or you get, or you show it to home decor and you get a whole like line of linens for, I don't know, babies or something. Okay. So we picked a few for Matt's prep that uh, you have been doing online, many of you. This is, we're just going to take a look at some of the really cool desserts that you've been. And here's Heather Manning and Angela Caldwell, pieces that you've done for the prep. And if you want to do the prep, where can they find that? Jenny, is that on the blog now at this point? Make sure you go to makeartthatsells.com and you sign up to be on the newsletter so you get all the goodness. Okay, and here we have Faye Ford and Prana Mebora. Really, really pretty desserts, how great they are. Some more De Shan and Norfolk Sunrise art. What a range of styles mm -hmm. we're looking at. Very beautiful. Okay, then the assignment, the second part was to turn the desserts into characters. So first you were just drawing desserts. Now you are turning, them, look, boom. Oh. Now they're characters. How great. Louisa oh, illustrates. So this good. Is, aren't they so wonderful? Just turning them into characters by, in this case, giving feet. Um, all of them have eyes. Here's a mustache, glasses, <laughs> an eye patch, a bow tie. Accessorizing your character, giving it an emotion or expression in the face, it suddenly turns it into a character. It is that easy and that fun. Here we have mm -hmm. some more Lisa Powell and Shireen said, uh, again, the each one. And what's nice is there's diversity. Mm -hmm. They're related to different skin colors of humans, which is very cool. The hairstyles reflect different uh, types of people, ethnicities and so forth. But notice that there are expressions. This one is a little more hesitant. This one's super eager, the feet flying out to the side, hands clasped, holding the balloon. There's a lot of personality involved. Uh, when oh. Silvestra and <laughs> Annette Krauss, I mean, it's just incredible. And these styles are really beautiful. Here we have these sort of, look at this, the bell bottoms on the cake slice. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, unexpected. <laughs> and kind of fashionable <laughs> that's and, the perfect word unexpected mm -hmm. uh, i and love then, it and and the fun that annette had in crafting the whipped mm. the frosting different kinds of cakes the variety it's always interesting when you show variation by getting research by looking at baked goods looking at pastries mm. and seeing what can i do what information can I add? Look at this cake pan, uh, platter, how beautiful that is. For instance, the more variety you add, the more visual interest, the more interesting it is. You are a photo stylist, okay? You're gathering fun stuff to draw to show us. Here we have Alice Poole and Stars oh. Creative. I mean, this line quality is really good. Really and it looks like it's traditional media. Yes, you can totally do traditional media, a hundred thousand million percent, a hundred thousand million percent. You can do digital on your with like an iPad or Wacom tablet or whatever you do. Really nice. Look at this guy running. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's a star. That's a star. <laughs> okay. So preparing for class. Um, Jenny, remind me where they'll find this or Louise, 
I know you told me this morning, preparing for class. I think this is in day one in the classroom right now, how to prepare for class. You're going to get a nice little Q&A to get you to reflect and introspect. I think it's in the classroom now when you sign up. Um, British Jenny uh, says in the classroom. <laughs> she thinks. Yep. Okay. Student testimonials. Zoe, want to read too? Riley, want to read too? I'm going to read. Well, we read the top left one, didn't we? So oh, let me right. read the top right. Okay. As a new creative to make art that sells, I have absorbed incredible amounts of top tips to showcase my art. My artwork has improved consistently and I now have an even greater desire to use it to make a living. That is so cool. Maria Page, thank you for sharing that. Ryan, right. do you want to do one? Lower left, we've got Jacqueline Mole. Um, she's saying the combination of kid, kid book illustration and working on toy ideas is golden. I signed up to learn more about kid book illustration, but was amazed by how much fun it was to work on the toy concepts. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Totally true. It's a great mashup and it's why this course exists. Thank I'll you read, for that quote. I'll, I'll read Jody. I learned that there are numerous paths by which you can succeed. And the main thing is to love what you're doing. This boot camp experience amped up my passion level by a thousand percent, Jody uh, Pesci. It's so true. My whole guiding principle is people buy your joy. And if we can keep you amused, entertained, intrigued, curious, adventurous, you're going to have fun with your art making. Okay, it's that time. Mm -hmm. Giveaway. Give, well, these are all old photos of the three of us. It's not oh like my God. We're so different now. <laughs> so cute though. He's a pre-COVID, everyone. We've aged beautifully. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just starting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, giveaway. So um and oh well, let's do the Q and A's first. We've a lot of good ones. Um uh, Zoe and Riley, can you see them as well? The Q and A's. Sorry, say that again. Can you see the Q and A's as well? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm looking. Uh, Anonymous asks, are we illustrating the whole board book or selecting which page? You are just doing Zoe's bit of writing, a piece of text, a couple of paragraphs. You pick, you can pick um, depending on where you are on your illustration journey, you might want to pick just one character and just figure out how to make that into a character, put eyes on it. Um, might want arms, it might want legs. Think about what it's doing, put it into a really simple setting. We've got some great examples in the video this month, so have a look at that. Um, if you're more experienced, you can use that text and you can do all the characters in the book. You can do, you can just enjoy it. So, but one, yeah, one, one character, spread. one spread. Right, right. Okay. Oh, we have a lot. What? Did you guys scroll? Mm -hmm. A lot of questions. Yeah, so, let's let's go quick. <laughs> okay, Lala, how do we license our characters, character to companies? Is it similar to sending out a pitch to publishing? Um, we do talk a little bit about that in the monthly Zoom, so we will go into that because that's a big question. A uh, good question though. Let Lali Aline asks: Are publishers and agents accepting printed po? promos by snail mail yes now that covid is quieted down yes veronica oro i've i've bought the toy pitch self pay some weeks ago so i'm not sure if the content of character course is is also um, the toy course it's I different wanted... i think actually it's different veronica it's it it is a different course so the content is completely separate mm -hmm. Um, what makes boot camp really unique is Riley and I cook it up. Last year we did something. This year it's completely new content. Every single aspect of the course has changed. And also there is a beautiful crossover with my full illustrating children's book course and Riley's toy course. However, if you've taken the toy course, it doesn't ca cover character design in Riley's toy course. So what you're getting in boot camp is that extra input from me. Basically, there's they all work together beautifully, but they are all different. You can take all three and 
there you're not wasting your money which i think you know is anyone's good concern like well is this a repeat no new content okay anonymous attendee will i be at a disadvantage if i create with paper and paint not as digital absolutely not 100 percent. it's all about the art that. Oh. you just need to be able to present your work so if you are working traditionally you need to be able to scan it or photograph it in a way that really does sell sell your work is the uh chantal writes is the work reviewed live no uh that's the lower price point because when we do lives, for example, in illustrating children's books, it's a much more involved course. It's very thorough. This is a great summer course with bits and pieces. And there's less, you know, there are pros and cons. Like you don't have the stress of the review, but at the same time, the review in October is really exciting and very motivating. So it's all good. It's just different. Anonymous attendee, could this course provide portfolio pieces a thousand percent? That's what you're going to do. This is going to provide you with those portfolio pieces you're going to put on your website, if you like, in your social media, send to clients if and when you feel ready. But this is how you develop a portfolio, whether you've been to art school or not, doesn't matter. We have people at all levels. <clears throat> Kristen. Will there be any mini text in the mystery category this year? Well, first of all, we will not reveal anything, number one. Number two, I was looking at the past class from last year and was crossing my fingers. One of my favorite genres. Zoe, do you want to? I wonder if it's actually a Riley thing. Is it the mystery box that we're talking about? She's talking about a mystery a box. Oh, well, like a mystery category of right yeah, oh, for yeah. illustrating a picture book. Mm. Uh, the the toy version was I'm not going to say what it was, but it was the fifth week. I, I can't say what it is in case you haven't taken the toy course. But mm. it, no, it was I, I think that might be the answer to the question. Just the toy course, yeah, mystery box assignment. Well, let's just say, Kristen, that we don't reveal what the texts are, but they're varied so that. You don't just have the same thing from for each month. You will have yeah. a range of mood, tone, subject matter to really enrich your uh, portfolio. And of course, you'll do it in your style. Ginger, last year, we did upload two separate assignments. It's the same this year. Thank you, Ginger. Appreciate that. Janet, I really want to take this course but unable to at this time, how often is it offered? Um, we are just planning, it, it, it may be offered next year, but it may not, we just don't, we're putting together the package, the plan for next year. So uh, I would take it now if it's of interest. Anonymous, what percentage of art would you say is digitally created versus done by hand and scanned? Um, I don't know any percentage, but I do know that most of my represented artists, um, many of them do both. They do work mm. traditionally, scan it in, and move things around digitally, and a big number as well do the work exclusively digitally. So they just mm. uh, do it all in Procreate. And then there are some that do it traditionally, 100%. Mm not any so it doesn't really matter again it's the work uh net asks do you make royalties on toys sometimes yes sometimes no sometimes you get a flat fee uh, a big flat fee and sometimes you get an advance in royalty anonymous how much individual feedback do you get in the class you do not get individual feedback in this class um and every no you don't but you can but the place to get that from is the wonderful Facebook group. And you will see many of the students ask for feedback in the Facebook group and they get wonderful feedback. There's some top people in there who give wonderful advice. Mm -hmm. So it is a place for you. And it takes the pressure off like Lilla's going to review my piece. I'm freaking out. You know, you don't have that. It's more of your peers. And I think you'll find that incredibly useful. And people who are published illustrators so there's all all levels uh we even have smart directors in there from time to time 
Zoe Biggs asks, is there more of a trend toward digital versus physical? No. Uh, I mean, let me put it this way. I know artists are loving using their procre their 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 iPad Pros and Procreate and, and tablets. They're loving it because it's convenient. You work everywhere, anywhere, on the couch, in a train. You don't have to clean up and make a mess. That said, when I'm looking at art, I'm looking at the art. I don't care how it's made as an agent. And I know my art directors feel the same. So let's see, Kylie, Riley, do you talk about packaging at all in the course? I know it's more design work, but I'm just curious. Um, I think I show some examples. I mean, I'll show one right now quickly. This is an example. The game oh. board is the package. I'm showing it now because it's not in the course. So yes, can you hold that up companies. again, Rye? What's can you, that? Can you hold that up again? Sorry, I'm so quick. This package, the game board is, in, and this was inspired by the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel game, but in this box game. is the game board. And lots of companies are doing that. Just look up all, like a lot of games, a lot of games they're using the package as the game board. So yes, I'm sure I bring up packaging. I must. Yeah. Well, you show products. And yeah. for those that just joined, I showed this in the beginning. We just got this in. This is uh, a toy done by Tara Lilly. Pretty cool. You put it together. And I really want to do it, by, by the way. Okay, let's see. Will the PowerPoint be available for download? I don't believe so, Camilla. Camilla. Uh, anonymous, do you feel there's an advantage? No. About traditional? No, not necessarily. Lana, how many illustrations will we be creating during the course? Ideally six to a month. And you have a week for each. You have really like three weeks for both a month. So it's over the uh, first day is today and it goes through end of September. Plenty of time. Kristen, will we be hand drawing toy and game mock-ups or making physical products, pro prototypes? Riley? In this uh, course, you can if you want. No, that it's not part of the assignment, but I will tell you in that Facebook group last year, remember the donuts? There were donuts. Yeah, we had a lot of physical donuts. I, I think I had dreams about donuts. There were plush <laughs> donuts, paper, paper donuts. Um, I mean, it's physical part donuts. of the, it. It's not a requirement, but I mm -hmm. was shocked at how many I saw. That's really yeah. great. People sometimes make little videos too. You know, people get excited and they just get really, uh, there's the assignment and then what people choose to do extra. And we're all for that. Everyone um, in the chat is like, I made a plush. I made a plush. I'm sure Jen is with us. Jen Gambucha rhymes, rhymes with pizza. Jen, 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 did you make a plush? Yep, she made a plush. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Ra it was Robin, great fun. Robin say, Scaly says, uh, are the assignments different from last year? The whole entire course is 100% new and different. The only thing that's same is the, the, the schedule, the way that the courses get delivered, but all new content, 100%. Oh, except my checklist of getting you to look at the thing that's the same from last year. Oh, well, whatever. Kate, do you have any thoughts on digital? We talked about that. Anonymous, will the course run again in the future? We do not know. I'm working on the schedule for next year now. I know this is extremely popular, so um, but we have to see because I'm introducing a couple of new courses next year. Chantel Holt, is the work reviewed? No. Anonymous, does each week tie into each other? Yes, each week, the first week ties into the second week. You draw your character from Zoe's beautiful, amazing, rich, lush text. She's a, she's a published, uh, multiple published, an author of multiple published books. She's not a multiple author. She's only one Zoe. <laughs> um, and then you take that character that you've created and maybe the setting. And Riley says, okay, cool. Now you're going to turn it into a toy. And here's all kinds of inspiration and guidance. So that's what we do. Is it okay to use Procreate? 100% Chloe. Anonymous, does each work tie in? Yes. Kristen, it was a mini graphic novel text. I guess she was answering a question. 
uh, from somebody else. It was about the mystery, the, um, oh. you know, the mystery thing. And I think that must have been, Lila, do you remember a couple of years ago in one of your book camps, you did a graphic novel page. Yes, I do. So yeah. It was different. It wasn't our character boot camp. It was something different. Yeah. Anyway, I can't tell you, Kirsten. No, Kirsten. and we're about to do the giveaway. I have just four more questions I'm trying to go through. Chloe, is it okay to use Procreate? Yes. Samantha, I use Pencil and Procreate. I will be using Photoshop. That's okay. What? Yes. You Chloe, it. I am so eager to get to the next level of my art career. Would this be the course you would recommend first time student met a thousand percent? Any of the courses are great for any level. They, I custom design them so that everyone can succeed at all levels. And oh. Anna, but is it professional to have a shop section? Well, we'll, we'll do that another time. Net, will the teachers look at work in the Facebook group? We absolutely a thousand percent look at work. We we don't comment like a critique, but we like and we might say, wow, or I love it. But um, we we look and I'm looking to represent artists all the time because that's how you stay fresh as an agency. And Zoe's always looking to commission books and Riley's always looking for toy people. Okay, Ali Armstrong, are we illustrating one character? Um, sorry, I think you answered. Um, you're you're illustrating one character, but Zoe writes a story with some supplemental characters. You can do that too. Uh, Julia Swan, hi Julia. Will the gallery be open to the public? Um, I think it is, right? Matsians, Matt people, Matt's peoples. I think the gallery is open to the public, isn't it? I think yeah. so. There we go. If we enroll, Rebecca writes, can we pitch to all three teachers? Yes. Um, you can pitch, you know, uh, outside of class, but we're looking. Okay, the end of Q&A. I'm closing Q&A. Mm -hmm. And we are now... Becky what? says, Becky confirms, yes, it's public. Oh, public. public you know, you'd think we would know these things. Um, Let's see. Um, and I want to do screen share. Boom, boom. And do we have, okay, so now we have the giveaway. Oh, and oh, so go to courses on the maths page, and that's pull down the drop down menu, or you can click here on the home page. Make sure it's this top dot so you're in this right. So this shows up because it, it scrolls through these dots. We might want to just freeze it to this one, so, um, Becky, for the next few days. So it's easy for people. And that's how you sign up. And <laughs> so let us go to here. And now I'm going to stop the share. So I know, Greg, you've already, oh, it's already paused. Thank you, British Jenny. Um, if you are new to our giveaways, this is how it works. I will say a category. You can guess as often as you want. The three of us and Kim and we'll be looking to find the person who guesses first, but it may not be because we have so many people here. We may not see who is the actual first person, but you get what you get and don't get upset. We try to do our best and it might not be the first person. That being said, that person that we that guesses the cor correct thing. I see you're already guessing. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, we'll win the course character play. So we're really happy about that. Green beans. All right, go ahead. Do your little thing, people. Cheeseburger, broom, milk. Okay. <laughs> go on. Race That's right, what right. you need to do. <laughs> Corn of cough, watermelon. You're giving me ideas. Sunlight. Oh, clever. 1966. See, okay, and let me just show you. These are your your fellow students. Cough drop. <laughs> death and taxes. <Sausages. laughs> Sunset, Bluto, Woodstock, Jungle, Popcorn, <laughs> Glasses Wipes. Glasses Wipes. These are, I, could, I couldn't describe better what your fellow students are like. Maybe. Chartreuse, tulips, magenta, potty seat, macro skeletons, remote control. Oh my God, the artist formerly known as Prince, <laughs> baby wipes. Mustard. <laughs>
alfalfa sprouts. Lunch adores. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is ta Tamagotchi giraffes snail mail. Oh my God, Rich, just tell me when you want me to start, people. Whatever. You're brilliant. Narwhal pop charts now, please. Okay. I I always say this. This is based on my opinion, but I feel that we have the coolest students of any course anywhere in the entire world. And that is a fact yep. as per my fact making. Uh, we just, you know, so creative, so fun, so kind. Okay. So uh, now I will give the category ready. Who's ready? If you're ready, say ready for the category to win the course. If you've already won it, you can gift it. I mean, if you've already signed up, you can gift the course to a lovely friend. The category is animal. Oh, too fast. I'm just scrolling now. Oh, found Eleanor. Yeah. Eleanor Aardvark, 1.12 p.m. Oh, they're all 1.12. Eleanor, yay, Aardvark, boom. Yay. So, Eleanor, what, which, who, Eleanor, are you? Congratulations. That was it, Aardvark. So, um, where are you, Eleanor? Type in something. Yay. Oh, I'm already signed up. Okay, you can give it to a friend. Do you have a friend who could really benefit? So write to um hello at makeartthatsells.com. Let's be friends, <laughs> says Beth. <laughs> Everybody's gonna friend her. That is great. Huh? Suddenly you have all these friends on my Instagram. Uh, so write to Louise at hello at make art. <laughs> Susan says, have I told you how amazing you are? <laughs> you look so pretty today. You look great in your hair. <laughs> I've always loved you. <laughs> oh, my God. So you can gift it. Hello at make art that sells .com. Gosh, I'm so popular. <laughs> oh, this is why I love mats. I love mats. I love my people. I love my co-teachers. I love everything about it. Okay, so did I take care of it? Did I forget anything? It's like winning the lottery. We did it. Boom. We did Bam. it. Well, Bam. Bam. <laughs> okay, so class starts today. Sign up. You got to get Zoe's text. You're going to love it and then be ready for Riley, next week, you have something every Monday. How cool is that? And we'll be there in the Facebook group, um, dipping in, saying hi. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I really can't wait to see you in class. Go sign up. Sign up. Open your browser and go sign up. We want to see you <laughs> in there. You won't regret it. Thanks, everybody. See Thank you later. You. And see you at the end of the month for the live Zoom. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.